I was always told growing up, it's gonna rot your brains, it's a waste of time. And then like now I see where esports is at and my family and I at home, we watch the League of Legends Championship. One of the students here at BC, he came to me and said, hey, we're really interested in starting an esports team. Like BC needs an esports team and can you help us? I was a little bit apprehensive because I did not play video games and I wasn't sure what it would all entail. But then that same student came to my door almost every day the first week of school and said, have you talked to the principal? What's going on with the esports team? It's really because of the students. They were the ones that I felt like because they're so interested, I think I can do this. My team, they never played League of Legends before, and them going from starting out just at the basic beginnings to now they're in the 30s and seeing how their team works, they're strategizing, and they've basically taken ownership of our team and run with it, it's been fantastic. At our school, leadership is really encouraged and admired among the students. With eSports, uh, my students get an opportunity in a different way than what maybe traditionally would be thought of as this is a leadership role you would have. So we have a team captain, we also have a team coach, and they really work really well with the students to kind of bring them together. And they are the ones that outside of school, they're practicing. We get three hours of practice a day. They come in at 7 a.m. in the morning and they're, they're waiting for me. They're like, hey, can, we're ready to go. Can we come in? Can we practice? Originally, we were practicing three days a week and they were like concerned they weren't getting enough practice. They were like, can we do more? Can we squeeze in another day? So they wanted to do five days a week, but I was like, um, let's start with three. Let's build up to four. And if we make it to playoffs, then we'll go to five. They are just so motivated to kind of like take ownership of it. They basically decide beforehand what their bands are, who's doing what position, because I really would not have that kind of knowledge. And even though I don't play as much as they do, you know, you have to admire somebody who's built up their skill set. They've had to put in a lot of time and energy in order to be so good. And then when I play, I go like, wow, this is a lot harder than it looks. It has been wonderful watching how good my students have gotten in such a short amount of time. <laughs>